Hey guys, what's up? Ah, uh, we're out at the farm. It's a nice, nice balmy 46 degrees outside. What happened to spring? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, hey, I'm waiting for the little gal. She's got to go to the bank today and uh, see if she can uh, come up with the money to fix her trailblazer. So I did all that cleaning for yesterday. Kind of for nothing for today, but that's okay. I got more cleaning to do. I got, I want to see if I can get to my bench there and maybe get the carpet peeled off the top of it so I've got an actual welding table in here instead of having to dig up my little thing that back over there. But, uh, well, some of you seem pretty interested in me doing a engine build and uh, maybe have a raffle to give it away. I guess. I'd need to, I guess, before doing that, and I guess um, I'll have to, I don't know, maybe check with a lawyer or something. Um, I hate to limit it just to the uh, U.S. or something, but so I don't know. No, um, no I don't know. What I, I guess I got some more checking to do into it and that, but. Uh, I guess, or maybe uh, I don't. I don't know. I guess it's just an idea I'm kind of thinking about, and as I think about it, there's some more things I thought. Well, you know, you're going to have to figure out how you if somebody overseas want it, if they or what, or so I got I got a little more thinking to do, and I guess we probably better talk to somebody too. And but uh, yeah. Which I think would be a fun thing to do. And a couple of you already suggested a motor to do a 383. Well, I've done the 383s uh, with the 400 block with the 350 cranking rods and special pistons, or I've done the 400 bolt crank and the 350 block. I've ran them both ways, and the one the big bore seemed to outdo the short bore. We just didn't like it, but. I don't know just so I guess I'm kind of open to suggestions and yeah, and one of you like you said it kind of come up with a good idea have it be a $20 entry if it's under that it's a donation and if you send in 60 bucks you got three chances at it so I guess I just have to do a little more checking I, I mean I still get it well Depending on how the motor's built, and I, like a race shop, if you build it to be a high horsepower machine, there's no guarantee on a motor like that. But if you build it to be a street machine, hey, I'd stand behind it because out of all the years I've been working on motors, I have not had a motor come back on me. So, all right, I'll be back. Ah, that was the gal calling back on the transmission. Uh, one place I called yesterday that. I've gotten trainees from them in the years past, but the gal kind of like, you know, I kind of go by country woodcrafts and, uh, um, sorry, I'm distracted. Okay, well, that's not going to happen today. Dang. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, go by Country Woodcrafts out here because that's what I got on the side of the building and as soon as the gal goes, oh, so you're not a mechanic. I'm like, uh, lady, I've been working on cars since 1981 or so, give or take. I've been the automotive diesel mechanic school. I ran a race car for 14 years and I've been working on cars ever since, off and on. So, that place lost my business. And the place that I'm going, thinking about going through has got a three-year warranty, and it's a nationwide warranty. They've got service centers all over the place. And after talking to that gal, she goes, well, do you have a tax ID for your business? I said, no, not. I just do it. And that, and I said, it's not really set up as a business business. And she's all, after she goes, after talking to me, she goes, oh, hell, you know what you're doing with this stuff. I said, I said, I even go as far as taking the radiators out of the vehicle and taking them in and having a new cooler put in. She's, uh, you don't have to do that. 
for our warranty. Uh, she says, as long as you use our cooler clean, get the, the, I guess they send the cleaner with the transmission to clean out the tranny lines in the cooler. She says, as long as you clean it with that stuff and that, it's good to go. And she says, as long as you follow our instructions installing it, it's good to go. She says, we don't care if you, so I can put a nationwide transmission in and they don't care. So, yeah. So, but now I'm just waiting on the gal. Um, I guess it's cold. It is cold. You know, I'm trying to keep the heat down. I think I got it like 50 some degrees set in here because usually when I get moving, I get hot. And today it's staying cold in here. But. Well, I guess I'm going to start cleaning, put some more stuff away, or if I throw some more junk out, I don't know. I mean, for the price of a new oil pan and those rusty ones I've got over there, I could almost throw the damn things and buy a new one. I mean, because that's the last thing you want is rust and dirt hit up in there under. And you know, that might be what might be the project. Kind of interested in seeing if I can pop those uh, uh, spot welds out in... Uh, if I could do that, then I'd clean the pan and everything, put it back together. I mean, I can weld. I mean, it was welded in before. What the heck's the difference later? I mean, maybe I'll do some messing around like that. So, all right. Well, I'm going to get busy doing something. I got to do something. As you can tell, I'm going crazy just sitting here waiting. As if this transmission deal goes through, that will be a big help around here, too. So, all right. Well, look at there. Pretty much got my bench re reclaimed. Uh, there's some stuff here. These were leftover parts from a guy I was helping make stuff, and oh, really didn't put anything away. I mean, it's the wrong color for anything I've got. Uh, Why? Well, I was like, put stuff away. It just. Went through some more scrap. I got a padlock and junk I'm throwing in there. Basically, just put things where they belong, I guess. Now I'll probably forget where they're at, but that's okay. Whew. So, yeah, I'm just kind of. Cleaning up and picking up and waiting. One guy I needed to get a hold of today ain't in town, so can't do anything there. Shucks. But, uh, well, I guess. I'm having some weird pain in my lower back today. It, it's cold, yes, and wet, and I you know the arthritis is probably kicking in, but. I even had a little bit of a pain in my left elbow earlier, down in my left arm, but I feel fine, I feel okay, so, I guess. Ah. Yeah, this is where I need a helper, because I got a little shed next door. Uh, some of this stuff could go in and hang on. So, hang on the walls and get out of here, so. All right, well, I'm just checking in and killing time. It's already, well, shoot, it's already noon. So, oh, and I talked to my internet provider. I said, hey, what's going on with the internet? We got a download speed of 1.5 megs, but my upload speed's only half a meg. I'm like, well, it takes me about an hour and a half, two hours to load a seven-minute video. Well, it shouldn't take that long. I said, well, it is. Oh, well, so I guess they were going to do a little checking and see what they could do. If it's going to cost more, I ain't going to do it, but I guess I'll just put up with it taking three, four hours to offload a video for you guys. Because I'm not, with the daylight getting longer, I'm not getting home as early, and that's why my videos are getting up later, because by the time I go through, check them out, edit it, make sure there's nothing that I didn't mean to say or or it sounded wrong later 
it sounded okay when I said it, but that's why they've been getting up so late, so. But, well, I'm going to shut up. Hey, oh, looky there. I've got my, some of my tools back over here, so I'll open up this bench. Cleaned up underneath. Now i got a place to store my oil. Good oil pan and that. And basically, i got a friend of mine years ago had me tear a brand new air compressor apart that was only used to paint a couple of cars to make a air pig out of it. I told him it could have been rewired to 110 so he could have used it all the time. He said, nope, I don't want that. So I brought that all home. It was a brand new. He said they paid like four or $500 for the air compressor. And I'm like, okay, it didn't make sense to me. But I tore it apart for him, made him an air pig out of it. And I got the rest of the parts. So I just got to find me a tank or something and I can build me another air compressor. And then this old Tecumseh motor here, I guess Tecumseh motors went out of business. I thought about getting rings and rebuilding that one quick, so... Because uh, it is a... Because when it was on that pole behind mower, she didn't have any compression. It wouldn't, wouldn't go. And I thought the valve was stuck open while well, we got the valve. Check the valves, they were opening and closing like they should. It just real weak on compression. And as hard as that thing was run, I mean it's been run to the point where it's been hot and but I don't know if I can get parts for that or not. I'll have to find a model number if I can get the rings and head gasket and gaskets. Maybe we'll re rebuild that one. Then if I ever get to build my uh hydraulic dump box trailer, there'd be a motor I could use. So, yeah, we're just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. You know, really, I haven't thrown much away. I mean, you can see the pile right there. But I uh, haven't really thrown much away, and I don't know where the heck I went with everything that was on there. But uh, just a matter of putting stuff away. It's amazing what changes when you put stuff away. Uh, and then I got another problem I hope I don't have coming again. Well, you know, the last couple of years I've been having trouble with kidney stones. A little while ago, I found one of my Vicodin that I had left. I popped that off of my right side and back where I usually hurt where the kidney stones start. That side's starting to hurt. I'm like, God, no, 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 no. I cannot afford another kidney stone. I can't afford to have this happen three years in a row. And if it is another kidney stone, I know what the problem is. It's stress. So, oh, bring that up. I uh, told the banker that I made a offer to the guy, a ridiculous office, office, well, not a ridiculous, a serious offer if he came up with X amount of dollars and that he could have all my woodworking tools. And the banker, banker today was, he was seven ways from Sunday trying to figure tell me to stay in that building and I told him I said you've even said yourself many times you are no longer going to help us you won't help us he's like what are you going to do well I think he's forgot I can work on cars and all that out here so yeah he's just freaking out he's like well you get rid of all that stuff then what are you going to do I felt like saying well I guess it's none of your business I'm out of your bank and I'm done I own my stuff and then we can start paying our bills like we're supposed to that's thing we got to get away from payments we just got to have our monthly bill payments and then we'll be okay then we could start living I think so I guess I take a loss on the tools now I'll recruit it later if not I guess it wasn't meant to be so oh but all right I'm gonna sit down for a little bit because that's not being nice Okay, I just messed with my tubing notcher, and according to what the way it cut, see how one side's longer than the other? So I take that's because I'm not centered. And uh, looks like I'm gonna have to loosen those and put some thin washers behind there and bring it out because I can't shorten this now if I had a machining uh, 
thing. I could take some off that and yeah, maybe that's where I might have to talk to the blacksmith. Maybe I might have to take that to the blacksmith and have him machine a little off that and move the saw over because if it's this way, this side's going to cut long and this side's going to cut short, so. But I guess it would work if I had to in a hurry. I mean, I'm up there in the V in the notch. I mean, she's clamped tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So, that's why I'm killing time. I try this out. I have had it laying around here and just haven't used it. And well, now I just used it. So, it's now a used piece of equipment. So, all right. Boy, that looks a lot better. All I did is took the flat washers from this side, put them in there, that thickness. And she cut, I mean, there's the slug that's coming out. I don't think I had it quite square, even though it says it's square. But, uh, that looks a lot better. So, I think I could weld that together. <laughs> cool. I wondered about this one because I've been reading up on them and that. And uh, a lot of guys saying that they don't ever have them centered when you get them. Well, I think I just centered that one. So, cool. Now I just get her a true 90. And uh, I could uh, actually do something. What I've been thinking about doing is making a new hood for that. And then cover it with something and uh, get that motor protected. So, all right, well, I guess I'm just killing time because the kids should be out of school and she, hopefully they're the bank talking to them, so. Oh, good, that looks a lot better. A lot better, fits better even. Well, I even got a slug there, so. All right, I mean, even looking at that, looks like it's long on that, but. That one it looks good, so and that's flopping around. I'm gonna to have to, if I'm gonna keep doing this, I gotta get a better make something to bolt it down and clamp it in the vise, keep it or uh, rocking around. So, alrighty, that's my tubing notcher. Yes. Well, I guess I'm gonna to have to. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I, I ain't gonna do it today. Uh, I ain't gonna start today. I'm just I'll get up and get going on it tomorrow. We got a transmission job. Um, boy, the bank was nice to her. I mean, they were going to charge uh, stretched it out over three years and uh, seventy dollars a month. She went with the brand new three year tranny. So, with the national warranty on it. So, it breaks down. She calls them up and it's taken care of. So, and this place is, uh, uh, this place is re real nice to work with, and she's like, no problem. A little goofy on how they do the core. Pray to God the damn thing ain't cracked. It shouldn't be. Better not be, because if it is, yeah, I'll, uh, there's somebody who's going to have to cough up some more money, but, uh, yeah, but now it's no leaks, and I've been under there, like I said, and changed it. So I know what we're doing tomorrow. We're going to drop a tranny out, and I said, "Well, I'd have the tranny, tranny ready, to, probably ready to go." She's well, keep it to make sure you get all your stuff you need off it. And I'm like, "Okay, well, I guess I don't know." So yeah, tickled. Now I just gotta get what's oh, yeah 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 okay yeah I don't I 
should probably get that thing in here tonight and let it dry. It's a problem with having no buildings. I know this summer I gotta figure out how to put up another small shed or put one on ground level on a cement slab so I can just drive these things in and put them away in that shed. But so we got a transmission job on a 2001 Trailblazer. So cool. All right. Well, I don't know. I guess I could move my chairs, put them over there, and put that more back there. Well, no. Oh, no. I got too much stuff in this building right now. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to shut up, go home, get this uploaded, and uh, that's, that's a nice boost. Um, be nice if I could get hooked up with this company. I mean, putting trannies in, I so. But we'll talk to you later. Finally, a little bit of good news. So, see ya.